So we're getting the machines fueled up right now, warming them up a little bit, and then we're gonna get to the backyard. I'll show you guys where we're excavating, and then we're gonna get to it. So this is the septic bed. We're gonna backfill this right now, and then I'm gonna jump in the Mini X, and I'm gonna run some lines for the septic bed right there. Dad's running the, the skid steer for a little bit. And I'm gonna jump in the excavator. So the hole's 10 feet wide by 40 foot. It starts to that flower bed and goes all the way to right underneath us here to the septic bed. So far there's only a line and the header going across. Really smoothly right now. It's about 11.30. The homeowner's uh, just gonna come out and speak with us right now. We're gonna get this backfill removed and get down six feet. The lines are running. There's only one line, but the line's running straight to the tank over here. So we're going to remove all this with the skid steer. We're going to make a ramp and slowly go down to about six feet. All this black soil is contaminated, so we're going to dispose of it. So we're making progress. We're using the skid steer to bring out some of the soil right now. We still got to go down a little bit further. That's the, the old pipe. We gotta go down until we stop seeing contaminated soil. So as you can see, that's about the level we need right there, which is gonna eventually be about six feet down. We're bringing all the contaminated soil out with the skid steer, bringing it up the driveway to the dump trailer. And then the dump trailer's sitting at the top of the driveway. We got a full load now, so we're gonna go and dump it. And we're going to be right back at it. So we're about 15 minutes away from the job site right now. We're on the way to go unload the trailer. The homeowner is borrowing a buddy's truck and trailer to remove the top fill. When I was loading the trailer, I noticed the tires were sagging. So I, I said, this, that's enough. But the homeowner insisted we put more in the trailer so that we can take more to the, the site. However, we've just blown a tire. We got a full trailer and we're about 15 minutes away from the machines. Conveniently enough, there's actually a farmhouse right here and I can see a tractor. So that could be our saving grace to get this tire changed. Cause this is a full load and we ain't gonna be able to jack this up. All right guys, so I didn't get much footage of us repairing the tire. We are back on the job site now. We got the trailer unloaded. We only had about two and a half hours of downtime, which isn't too bad. Uh, downtime sucks, but it's it's not the end of the world. So we replaced the tire, we got the new tire on it. We're just gonna take it easier on the loads now, not load as much. The dump's only 17 minutes away from here, so take it a little bit easier. That would be useful right now for sure, but we'll take it easier on the loads and try not to have any more problems. It's about three o'clock right now. We're gonna work till sundown. Just wanna show you guys how we're taking the dirt out of the uh, hole. Quicker to use the skid steer. So we're backing the skid steer into the hole and driving it out bucket by bucket. They're shoveling around the lines. that hill so we can drop 
drive up it, pack it down a little bit more. So this was dug out by hand today and we got most of the hole dug out. Unfortunately, lots of water is coming in the bed. We did get the machine stuck. So we got to hand shovel the rest of this out until we got nice clean sand, level that off. And then we're going to put some sand in, lay our pipes and then put the gravel and then build up from there. It's coming along slowly, but surely taking longer than expected. Probably going to be a two or three day job. Guys, so it was a pretty successful day. We're done for the day right now. It's about 8 o'clock. We finished pretty late. Just going to get some fuel. we got about an hour to drive home. We're going to get back at it about 7.30. We're going to leave my house and then get, get to the job site around 8.30. Apparently there's a law that you can't start machinery until around about 9 o'clock in residential neighborhoods. I'm not familiar with that law because I live on a farm, so we have different laws. We have a farmer's license. So we have different rules and regulations that we follow. Um, but we're not going to start until about 8.30, which is kind of shitty, but it's got to be done. And we're hoping that we can get the project done by tomorrow night, if not Sunday morning, because it's uh, Friday night tonight. So hoping to have the project done tomorrow. The tire was definitely a setback. We also got this gauge steer stuck for about 40 minutes in the hole. So we had about almost three hours of downtime today which didn't help us at all. I'm uh, hoping we can get that back tomorrow and get the job finished. But other than that, guys, that's it for uh, today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. How's it going, guys? So it's day two of the septic job. Last night we got a lot of rain. The roads are still wet. Looks like it's gonna be a sunnier morning. I think we're gonna get some sun and clouds throughout the afternoon, and then it's gonna turn to rain probably around two or three. Hoping that we can get the, the job done at least today if not by tomorrow morning we uh, have got a little bit more help today there's a lot more shovel work that needs to be done we're not going to be able to excavate the hole completely we have to get in there with the shovels i've got a clip of the shovelers hard at work um, but all you know all jokes aside that kind of work needs to be done you know we don't want to get the machine stuck again so we got to get the shovels out Unfortunately, well fortunately enough, sorry, there's not much that needs to be done, but unfortunately it's really wet and what needs to be done kind of sucks, but shouldn't take too long. We got lots of help today. Hopefully we don't have any breakdowns, fingers crossed, um, and we can just get at it and get it done. Just charging up the grease gun we're gonna get the tractors greased and then we're gonna get to it so we got all the mud out we got all the contaminated soil pretty well we've got to excavate from there to the septic bed which is just in front of the excavator so we probably got another five or six loads with the dump trailer to go out and then we're gonna start backfilling with our gravel and sand so we're making lots of progress we've almost got the whole septic dug out <coughs> Septics right there. Got about that much to excavate. Got lots of help today, right, Cody? That's right. Appreciate that. So the job's coming along nicely. We finished the excavating pretty well. Just have a little bit more to do. Just gotta dig that out by hand by the wires. Then start bringing in material. Do you know the di dimensions, Cody? What's that? The dimensions of the hole? Are they, is it 40 foot long by like 10 foot wide? Yeah, exactly. And is that from there to the septic from bed? From that po fence post there. Okay. Back, it's 40 feet. Just kind of hold it out really roughly. Yeah. Just kind of
Having fun, Cody? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Couple drinks? Oh, fuck. <laughs> so right now we're just laying the sand base. Once the sand is leveled at 10 inches, we're gonna lower, lay our headers and pipes. The pipe right there is going into the septic bed, which is roughly around about there. So once we build up 10 inches, we can lay our header and then start laying our drainage. Well, the gravel's coming in nicely now. We're putting 10 inches of gravel on this side and eight and three quarters on that side. So it's a 2% gradual grade all the way down for the runoff. We got Cody on the skidder right now. He's cleaning up the pile. That bucket's nice and full. And then we're basically using the mini X to take what's here and then load it in the wheelbarrow and then it goes off over there. Beauty. All right, I'm gonna get back to work. This board's about to snap. Septic lines are laid. We're running some gravel over the lines now. We're almost done, baby. Almost done. As soon as we cover the lines, we can put some sand down, and we'll be good to go. After the septic job's done, we're gonna lay some sod on top of the bed. We ripped up the backyard pretty good. She'll look nice in about a week or so. Well, we're done. Right, Cody? Got her all filled up? That's right. Finally. Four days of hard work. Did you have fun? Oh, yeah. You what? So we just got to finish filling this little part in with some stone dust. Got to put some interlock stones back. Pack this down. And we're going to be finished the job. Hey guys, just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did like the video, definitely make sure to like and subscribe. Stick around for some more videos. Got a lot of equipment that I got to get winterized and ready for winter time. So I got a lot of cool videos coming up. So definitely stay tuned. But until the next video, I'll see you guys then. Peace.